Hi everyone, today we're going to teach you how to make seed tapes and these are my two special helpers. I've got Lillian Hi. and Ethan. Hi. They're going to give me a hand and show you how it's done. So basically seed tapes come from the depression um, when food was scarce and instead of wasting seeds they came up with seed tapes which is a way of using either toilet paper or handy towels for us that um, you can make sure you're not wasting seeds. So not only does it help not waste seeds, but it also helps seeds from drying out in that initial stage when they're starting to grow, which is super important. So to get you started today, what you're going to need is you're going to need some toilet paper or some handy towels. You're going to need some seeds, um, some flour mixed with water, and the ratio is one part flour to two parts water. And Lillian will show you in a little bit the consistency of how that looks. Um, a pair of scissors <laughs> if you're using handy towels and also a pen if you've got little helpers being your special little mates today. Like this. Yeah, like that. And also either some toothpicks or I've got some um, kebab skewers to help them place the seeds and the glue. All right, so we are going to get started. Right, first of all, Lils, can you please show us the consistency of the flour and the water, how it should look? Excellent, not too runny. And can you show us what seeds you're growing today, Lils? I'm growing uh, spring onions. Can you tilt the bowl up a little bit more so people can see? Perfect. So they're quite small seeds, so this is a really good one to do. And Ethan, what are you growing? Baby beetroot. Good. So they're a little bit bigger, so they're going to be a bit easier for his hands to work with. So the first thing you need to do is you need to measure out how long you want your piece of toilet paper. So Lillian's going to be doing the toilet paper today because it's a little bit more delicate for a little bit fiddly hands. And so usually I'd recommend you do this to however your row length is. So if you've got a row length in your veggie garden that's a metre, then you'd make this a metre. But we're just going to keep this short so Lillian can deal with it easily. Okay, so that's going to be Lillian's piece. And then yeah. with... Yeah, cool, yeah. Yes. So then if we're using handy towels, go the opposite way to the perforation. So that way there is where the perforation was. Um, and I go the opposite way because otherwise it can come undone quite easily. So Ethan's going to cut his strips. They're going to be a lot shorter, but that will be easier for to deal with in the garden. And I've actually probably made that a little bit too fat. We probably only need the handy towel yes. about that yes. thick. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to place dots with a pen on where we want the kids to place the seeds. Now, you can either do this by measuring them with a ruler if you want to, otherwise you can also just guesstimate as close as possible. Um, seed packets have on the back of them how far apart you should place them. So with your spring onions, which Lillian's doing, um, you do those three centimetres apart. And for your beetroot, you're going to do those two to four centimetres apart. So then I'm going to go through and I'm going to draw the dots in place for the kids. And I'm just going to guess for all of them. The other good way to do it um, is to think about how big they're going to get in the garden. Um, but things like cabbage and collie and broccoli are obviously going to get quite big um, and you place them closer together and then thin them out later if you wanted to. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put daubs of the glue onto the dots. Like this. We want them to be really thick. Thank you Lillian. Thing we're going to do is you're going to pick up the seed with the end of the toothpick or whatever that had the glue on it because yeah. it makes it easy to pick up the seed and then place it over the glue. You don't have to push, try not to push it down in the glue. Okay, thanks. Then Lance. you won't be able to see it and then you won't know um, where to put this next seed. Good job, Ethan. All right, so the kids have done an awesome job finishing that. But you're going to do some more for me today, aren't yeah. you, after we finish this video? So the next thing to do is to label them. So Ethan, do you remember what you did? Um, yeah, beat two. Yeah, so baby beat. And Lillian, do you remember what you did? Spring onion. Okay, so we're going to write on yours in a second. So Ethan's, 
can just be dried like this overnight before you do anything else with it or um, you can plant it straight into the garden if you really wanted to but after drying it after night if you're not going to plant for the next few days wrap it around a roll of toilet paper like so after it's dried um, and then instead of naming the handy towel you can name the toilet roll instead um, same with lilians that's why we don't do it until it dries because it starts to stick so lilians all that needs to happen with yours my friend is yours gets folded in half. Wow. I know, pretty cool, right? And then that will dry on top of each other. And then you would name yours Spring Onion. If you're unsure about how far to deep, um, how deep to plant it, then flick us a message. We can tell you, or look on the back of your seed packets. That will show you as well. Generally, the rule of thumb is to however millimeters thick your seed is, you do that many millimeters under the soil. Um, so after folding it up, you're going to, for this one here, the seed's really small, so it only needs to go about two to three millimetres under the soil. Um, and for Ethan's beets, which are a little bit thicker, you'd be putting those about five to six mils under the soil. So make a little trench, lay your cloth down on top, cover it with soil. Um, the other way is that if you've got um, pots and containers and you've got some potting mix or something lying around, you can lay it on top of the surface and put that couple of mils of soil over the top. So the kids are going to carry on making some more, I think. Yeah. And we hope you enjoyed this video from Motorings. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Do you think other kids would like it? Yeah. Cool. Give it a go, guys. Thanks.